Hello and welcome. I'm John Kias. I'm the manager here with Microfocus coming to you from my home office as we uh, work our way through the current situation. Anyways, I really just wanted to talk to you for a few minutes about upgrading your deployment of network automation or network node manager uh, to one of the latest versions. And we've got a bunch of good reasons to do that. So let's just jump in. I'm going to share my screen here. Okay, so modernizing your NNMI and NA deployment with easy upgrades. You know, if you're like a lot of us, right, once we get some software out and running and it's doing the job, we'll get more in the mode of let's just keep it where it is, understand uh, how it works, understand if there's any limitations, and we'll just work forward from there. But now is a really great time to upgrade. And, and one of the primary reasons here is this replacement of features built with uh, Adobe Flash. So Adobe Flash goes EOL at the end of the year. And the reason they're doing that is because it's so full of security vulnerabilities. They said, okay, it's time to get rid of this, um, this architectural piece. So we have rebuilt our product to exclude uh, Adobe Flash, and we're hoping that you'll upgrade to the versions that don't include Adobe Flash to increase the security and reduce vulnerabilities in your deployment. Additionally, we've got tons of new features, and depending on where you've upgraded from, we've got uh, the, the ability to monitor, monitor Cisco ACI, SDN fabrics. Um, we've got integrated monitoring for Viptela WAN, which uh, a lot of folks are using these days. Uh, ability to manage uh, Cisco wireless networks. And um, in on the network automation side, we have change plans, which really is a powerful way to drive integration, um, excuse me, automation into your environment. And then finally, for the last two years or so, the development team has really been focusing on product quality. And with a product as big as ours, whether you're thinking about a network node manager or network automation, there's opportunity for quality defects to, to show up in the product. But they've implemented a, uh, a process called test-driven development, where they are ensuring that Every new feature and even existing features have an automated test that goes against it so that when you build a new feature or a new capability and maybe it breaks something else, that actually gets captured. So not only is the new feature going to work, um, all the existing features. So really a enhancement to our quality. So uh, what are some of the features that uh, might have been present uh, using Flash? So the NNMI real-time graph. Um, we've uh, given you an, an option for an HTML version since 10.21, but the files are still there. The Flash files are still there. So um, what we want folks to do is really target this 2019 uh, patch 3 uh, release for network node manager. And same thing was true with the NMI performance troubleshooting console. Once again, it was removed in 2018.11 and we've got a new version that'll be released to replace it for in 2020. So uh, probably around mid year. And once again, uh, this is going to be a, a key step for you to get the capabilities of this if you're using uh, the network performance server or the performance for metrics um, spies and get this performance troubleshooting console. And you wouldn't get it if you, ha if, uh, you have a version that's after 2018.11 and uh, not before 2020.07, which will be our next release. And then finally, the NA device selector. We've had an HTML option since 1021, but just like the real-time graph, the files are still there. So um, we want to get you upgraded to 2019.05 or newer. Okay, so if you have Network Node Manager, 
Um, what is your path to upgrade? And as you probably know, the farther you get behind in, you know, from any vendor's uh, solution, the more difficulty it will be to upgrade because most um, vendors such as us only support, let's say, upgrading from two or three versions back. So what we've done here is giving you the capability to upgrade from multiple years back, versions 10.1, 10.2, 10.3, 2018.08, 2018.11, .08, and go directly to our version 2019.05. And we really feel like this is a solid release from us, for the 2019.05, but the, um, the really nice thing is when you want to upgrade to 2020.07, it'll just be a patch upgrade. And if you have versions 10.4, 10.5, or 2018.05 in Network Node Manager, you might have to take an extra step or two there to get up to the 2019.05. But the 2019.05 is really the primary target and what we're uh, focused on. Now, to make things easier for you, we've relaxed the upgrade dependencies and constraints. So in the past, if you were upgrading uh, the primary application for network node manager, you had to upgrade net, the network performance server. Um, so you don't have to do that anymore. No requirement to match NMI and NA versions. In the past, if you have the two products integrated, which is a really powerful feature, they had to be on the same version. We've eliminated that requirement. No requirement to upgrade the host OS or database. <clears throat> Sometimes, um, Folks have standardized on a, a particular OS, and then after for a new version for our product, it goes out of uh, support, and we haven't tested on it. We uh, are supporting uh, existing OS and database as long as that was originally established for the product. Uh, most of the uh, integrations are maintained, and for our largest customers, um, who have a global manager and regional managers. Once again, <clears throat> the global manager, you can run that um, in the latest version and leave the, the regional um, managers at the existing version. So one of our uh, customers, very large uh, public IT company in um, Denmark, they upgraded their NNMI QA traffic NPS in production over one weekend in July. Um, and about one month of planning, had some support there, but their results were um, outstanding. You know, you can read that. Thank you. You've really gone above and beyond your role and re reasonable expectations. So <clears throat> I'm not sure if it was above expectations. Uh, I think this is, you know, kind of the expectations, but we really worked hard to ensure that there's going to be a great upgrade experience. Now, the same is true for network automation. Versions 10.1, you can see them there, 10.2, 10.3, 2018.08, 2018.11, uh, direct upgrade to 2019.05, and patch to upgrade to 2020.07. We've got a few versions out there that are uh, provide some issues uh, that you have to go through an intermediate set, but the important piece here is that you get to 2019.05 so you can get all the new capabilities, you can get all that new quality, and then uh, eventually just patch to upgrade to 2020.07. So once again, NMI and NA versions don't have to be matched. You can leave the existing uh, host OS and database. Um, integrations are maintained and no requirement to upgrade NA satellite. So this is similar to uh, regional and global um, on the NNM side, if you have uh, satellites out there, there, you can just leave them in place. And one of our largest customers just upgraded eight NA servers in two environments, 24,000 network devices, and um, two months planning, one weekend to roll it out, and they were done. Um, this was extremely stress relieving to them as they were able to take this immense uh, deployment and get it modernized and get the new capabilities out of it. So <clears throat> you can definitely do this yourself. 
But if you want help, I've got a couple of opportunities for you. We've got partners that will do these upgrades and we've got professional services from MicroFocus. It's up to you who who you'd want to choose. Once again, we feel like for, especially for the smaller uh, in, installs and deployments, it's definitely uh, doable um, by yourself. But if you want help, you you we've got a bunch of good opportunities here. So what are the next steps there? <clears throat> First of all, start with the interactive upgrade guide. Now this is, uh, I've got the, the URLs there for you. They'll be at the end of this presentation, but um, they're out on our practitioner portal. And the practitioner portal, if you're not aware of it, is a one-stop shop for all your information that you need to um, effectively understand the product, uh, deploy it, upgrade it, whatever you need to do, uh, it, the practitioner portal is there for you. So use cases, videos, everything that uh, much more than like the, let's say our public website at, at microfocus.com, these really get down into the details so that you can really run your product well. If you have questions or you want enhancements, all of that's there for you. I'm looking forward to uh, all the folks that are currently on uh, older deployments of network node manager, network automation to upgrade to this latest version. If you have any questions, definitely get out to that park practitioner portal. The links and the upgrade guides, the links are on the screen right here, I think, um, or maybe over here. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to enter a, a question over into the community site and we'll get a response out to you very quickly. So I, I'm John Kias on behalf of MicroFocus, our great product management and research and development and support team. Thank you very, very much for your continued usage of our products. We're very proud of them and we think that you're, you will be just as excited about the, the new versions out there as we are. Thank you very much.